Welcome, Jeff Frick here from Silicon Angle. We're at HP Discover 2013, and I'm here with Patrick Osborne from the Storage Group. Patrick is the Director of Product Management, and uh, Patrick, welcome to, uh, this is what we call the B-roll. We're out here, we're so yeah, booked up so. with great Thanks. executives, we can't even get you on the queue. <laughs> we have so many hot announcements that we got bound, so it's good. No, it's no, true. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. It's good. So, lot, lot to talk about. so jump in, tell us what, uh, what your announcement is all about. Yeah, so this week we uh, we had a lot of announcements in storage, you know, Flash, Store Once, VSA, all sorts of stuff, but today I'm going to talk about Store All. So Store All is our scale-out platform for doing um, file, uh, scale-out NFS and SIFs for unstructured data. We have a set of series announcements around object storage, so we have um, new object storage capabilities, APIs, um, things that will help customers do uh, metadata uh, management. And with some of that tech new technology, we're able to bring in a new ecosystem from various ISV vendors to, to solve some specific customer problems. Okay. So a lot of announcements around that. So like a, for instance, what are the customer problems that, that they can yeah. do, that they can solve now that they couldn't solve before, or, or they will yeah. be able to do shortly, I guess, if you've got ISV partners? Yeah, so a couple of things that customers are struggling with, and HP's trying to help, you know, with HP's a really good partner with, with ISVs. So we have customers coming to us saying, I have problems with enterprise sync and share. So access to data outside the firewall, how to store that securely, get it out on your mobile devices. Um, so we announced support for Citrix ShareFile. So they okay. do this enterprise sync and share um, to help you know customers mitigate that from a risk perspective and also you know really enable and empower their employees to get data outside the firewall and for a mobile workforce. Um, so that's one of the things that we work on. And then um, for other customers that are, let's say a mobile workforce that needs to archive documents, so you're dealing with invoices and Signed documents and you know images that you need to take outside of the you know like from a mobile phone. Um, we work with Eternity. They do uh, like secure um, archiving, and okay. we have a cloud connector now, so you can store things, uh, store images and um, and and documents securely uh, for regulatory uh, purposes okay. outside the firewall, and have them sync back to your data center. Um, that'll ultimately be stored on store all. So we get some okay. really interesting things. Um, another uh, ISV we're working with is Signia. So they do a lot in the media and entertainment space. Okay. So some of the uh, the freemium services out there for sync and share, right, they don't really do good with very large file, file formats. So if you're uh, a content delivery network and I want to send you like a movie, for example, right. those files can be terabytes in size. So they really specialized in, um, in being able to collaborate on very large file formats. So we have some uh, support for their product called Media Shuttle. Okay. So really trying to help people with managing data outside the firewall, okay. in the cloud, but for customers that have a hybrid environment. Things on their phone, they want to ultimately have access to you know, storage that's in the customer's data center that's right. secure, managed. So talk a little bit, I mean, you, you touched on, on mobile, but yep. you know, kind of how mobile has changed you know, kind of the angle from the storage perspective yep. for your customers and how that's changed over the last couple of years. Yeah, so first of all, it's driving insatiable you know, growth for storage. So the space that we deal with um, uh, for store all is all unstructured data. So documents that you're sharing, pictures, you know, rich media types. So just in terms of the growth, it's really, it's, it's, it's making the, um, the storage infrastructure buckle for a lot of our customers. The second thing is just access. So a lot of um, data, traditional data centers are used to having data just managed for a specific application in the data center. It's secure. They're, they're all cool with that, down, right? right? All locked down. All control. Yeah, so now everything's no flying out the <laughs> firewall, right? With you know other uh, sort of solutions, Dropbox, Box.net, and um, a lot of our customers, including HP, we struggle with this too, right? Where sure. you know we have a mobile sales force, a mobile marketing force. You know, I want to be able to, let's say, grab collateral here, so I can talk to you about specific solutions. Right. Um, so we're trying to enable that, but to make it secure. That's a big, that's a big issue. Okay. So then, and then the other big trend that we're talking about, yeah. one of the big trends here, obviously, is cloud. Yeah. Uh, and HP's, you know, announcing their, their unified cloud strategy. We've got private, hybrid, yep. uh, public cloud. To talk a little bit about kind of how cloud as an option for storage and cloud as an option for access is impacting uh, your clients and these kind of older line yep. uh, dedicated storage solutions. Yeah, so one of the things we want to help customers with is their path to the cloud, right? So we talked about some solutions that have, uh, they're hybrid in nature, right? So I have some storage that's sitting in the data center, right? I have some storage that's sitting out on devices at the edge, and I have some storage that could be consumed in a public cloud service, right? So we partner with hpcloud.com, right? They have a object uh, cloud service that we can utilize. So being able to help customers 
keep and um, have access to data that's already been created that's in their data center, right. but they give them the path to being able to take that data and grow it outside of their you know data center that's more of um, uh, an expense that they can manage as opposed to like a capital expenditure. Right. Is a uh, it's, it's in, in using these ISD partners there's a way to bridge that for us. Okay. So they can have you know on premise storage, traditional storage that you buy and put in a data center from HP, or they can use someone like HPCloud.com. Right. You know to, to bridge those together okay. for a hybrid use case. And a couple times you've mentioned your your ecosystem and your ISD yeah. partners. Talk a little bit about how. Uh, having those types of partners and where they add value to the core solution yep. and how important they are to the customer. Yeah, they're very important. Uh, we, you know, we try to do it all here, but we can't, right? So people are doing a lot of innovation. We have great partners, like I mentioned, Eternity and Signia and Citrix. Citrix. Citrix is a very large partner of, you know, HP and other solutions, um, you know, VDI and uh, desktop enablement, things outside the firewall. So for us, they do a lot of innovation, especially on the software side, and you know, bringing, bridging the gap between the infrastructure and the user experience with these type of um, you know, software packages is really important. And one of the key things we see these guys doing as well is that um, it's hybrid from a cloud approach, it's also a hybrid from a, a management experience. So a lot of these offerings now have a SaaS component to them, right? So it's a, it's a software as a service. Okay. You're storing the data, in the cloud or maybe in your data center, but the management is happening in the cloud. Okay. So the management is completely separated from the data plan, which is right. pretty cool. So stuff is going all over the place. All over the place. Right? So, so <laughs> you guys concentrate on enterprise. So some, somewhere there's got to be an enterprise compliance guy going, whoa, 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 whoa. how do we get our hands all yeah. over this stuff? Yeah. How are you addressing those concerns? And, and uh, obviously you, you are, or they wouldn't be doing yeah. these things, but talk a little bit about how that challenge has changed and really enabling people to have access to this data on their uh, on yeah. brand new phone that they just picked up at AT&T or the Sprint store right. or whatever. Yeah, we actually partner with um, some other divisions within HP to solve those problems. So HP Autonomy has some really fantastic solutions around e-discovery. Um, you know, Anyone in a big company has been on legal hold, right, for various you know things, patent trolls and, and things that go on there. So what we do is uh, we have software that enables um, very quick uh, e-discovery and um, guided discovery for everything from emails and unstructured data, and we can do that as an on-premise solution, so they can buy the storage and the software to do that. We have hosted uh, solutions, and actually we have a, a full cloud-enabled solution. Autonomy has one of the biggest uh, you know clouds out there from a data perspective. It's you know hundreds of petabytes. Right. Yeah, it's great. So I guess the good news if I could summarize is people are eating up more storage, more storage, more storage as we carry around these little mini computers Absolutely, with access yeah. to everything at the corporate level and and uh, clearly exciting time. So yeah. thanks for coming on Patrick. Yeah we love the cube so yeah go Bruins. <laughs> Patrick Hosmer <laughs> Go Bruins. Yeah. All right Jeff Rick signing off from HP Discover 2013. We'll be right back.